Hey everyone, welcome to the iFastNet YouTube channel. My name is Harold, and I'm excited to be here with you today. Together we'll be walking through the steps to install Django on cPanel. To get started, we'll install a basic Python script. You can do this by navigating to set up Python app in your cPanel and creating a new application. Each application will be assigned its own virtual environment, which enables you to run multiple applications with different versions of Python. Click on the Create Application button here. There are a couple of options here for our Python app. First, we need to select the version of Python that we would like to use. I'll choose the latest available version. Next, we need to provide a name for our application. I'll go with blog as the name here. cPanel will use this name to create a folder for the project in our account. After that, we need to select the domain we would like to use Python on. The following two entries, application startup file and application entry point, can be left empty, as they will be automatically selected by cPanel. Finally, we need to choose a path for the log file of our application. I'd like to have the log file in the logs folder. Now let's create the application. Our Python environment has been created. You can see that the application startup file has been set to passenger wsgi.py. Now, let's take a look at the files that cPanel has created for our Python app in the file manager. This is the root folder of the cPanel account. You can see that cPanel has created a new folder with the name of the application, and inside this folder, there's the passenger wsgi.py file. Let's examine the content of the file. It's a basic Python file that prints the it works message and the Python version. So if I open my website, this simple Python script runs, as you can see. Now that we've installed a simple Python file, it's time to install Django and configure our Python website to run it. To do this, I'll first copy this command here that starts with source by clicking on it. This command allows us to enter the virtual environment for our Python project. Now I'll go to the terminal section in my cPanel to install Django. In the terminal, I'll first execute the command I copied to enter the virtual environment for my Python application. As you can see, it entered the virtual environment, and it shows the application name and Python version here. We're currently in the project folder, and you can see the passenger wsgi.py file here. So, I'll install Django using the Python package manager first. Now that it's installed, I'll create a new Django project in this folder. Since I'm in the project folder, I'll add a dot to the command so that Django creates its files in the current folder instead of creating a new folder for them. Done. Let's take a look at the files Django has created for us. There's the manage.py file for Django and the Python module Django created. You can see there's a file called wsgi.py in the module folder. We need to update our Python application to run this file instead of the simple passenger wsgi.py file. So let's go back to cPanel. and edit the Python application. We need to update the startup file here. First, let's check the path of the Django wsgi.py file again. The passenger wsgi.py file is in the project folder, while the Django wsgi.py file is inside the module folder in the project folder. So I need to include the module folder name, and then the wsgi.py file in the path.
Okay, now our Django website should be online, let's check it out. Our Django website is now live, but we're seeing an error page that says the domain name of our website is not added in the allowed host section of the settings file. So we edit the settings file and add the domain there. and I refresh the page. Note that I still see this error since this is a production environment, and I need to restart the Python application from cPanel each time the Python code files are updated. And here we go, welcome to Django. The last step is to set up a folder for static files in our Django project. To do this, let's first navigate to the root folder of our domain in cPanel's file manager. Here we'll create a new folder called static. Next we set the static root path in Django settings file. Here we need to provide the absolute path to the static folder which is the path to our cPanel account shown here, plus the path to the static folder as shown here. Now I save the file, and run the collect static command using the manage.py file of Django in the terminal. Django has copied its static files to the static path we provided. And we can check that the files are now available here. To test the setup, I create a sample test file in this folder. With some test content. Since this file is in the static folder, we'll need to add this folder in the URL of our test file. And voila, it's working. I hope you enjoyed our video tutorial. Thank you for watching.